the Lord is blessing me right now, oh, right now. The Lord is blessing me right now, oh, right now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We praise God for you this morning. Thank God for everyone who have joined us in this broadcast today. We thank and praise God for our bishop, Bishop Carol of the Baltimore Senior, and our assistant pastor, Reverend Rachel Baltimore, on the mission field with the mission team in the Philippines. We praise God for them. Ask that you pray for them, that God will continue to keep them as they serve, as they help others, as they lift up the name of Jesus, letting others know that they are loved through Christ. Today we have with us our associate uh, minister, uh, Pastor um, Reverend Dwight Grant, who will be preaching the word today. Reverend Dwight Grant, our associate minister. Please enjoy the word as God comes forth today. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. First, giving honor to God, the House of Bishops, all the clergy and the people of God. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. Yes. Just as he chose him for before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Yes. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Our subject today, we're going to talk about the weapons of our warfare. Amen. Weapons of our warfare. And the Amen. subject today is the gospel of peace. Yes. Amen. Coming out of, we have a couple of texts. Right. The first text comes out of Isaiah 9, 6, 7. Isaiah 9, 6 to 7. Mm -hmm. Stay with me. I have a lot to cover, but I believe we can get through it. Amen. Amen. For unto us a child is born, uh -huh. unto us a son is given, yeah. and the government shall be upon his shoulder. Yeah. And his name shall be called Wonderful, yeah. Counselor, yeah. the Mighty God, yeah. the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Yeah. Seven, and of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Yeah. Yeah. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, yeah. to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from his forth even forever. Yeah. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, Jesus purchased our peace with his blood. Yes. Yes, that's right. From the very beginning, God planned for man to enjoy peace. Yes. Adam and Eve were surrounded by an environment of peace. Yes. There was complete, perfect harmony between God and man. Yes. There was total harmony throughout the earth. Man was at peace with nature, yeah. with all the animals. Uh -huh. well. The animals were at peace. Yeah. Uh -huh. The earth was totally void of violence. Well, well, well. When Adam and Eve disobeyed and sinned against God, that perfect harmony and peace was scattered. Uh -huh. well. They lost peace, the peace they had between them and God. Adam and Eve were fearful and tried to hide themselves from God. Yeah. There was a wall, a dividing line uh -huh. between God and man, yeah. separating them. Uh -huh. Along with sin came jealousy, yeah. hatred, yeah. and violence. Yeah. Now God planned and purposed to restore peace to the world. To break down the dividing line separating man from himself. Uh -huh. 
to restore peace to man's heart, yeah. to bring all things in heaven and earth into perfect unity in Christ. Yeah. Ephesians 1, 9, 10. Uh -huh. He promised through the prophet Isaiah to send a Messiah to establish peace upon the earth. Well. Jesus came to earth to destroy the works of the devil and to restore peace. Yeah. He did not just bring a message concerning peace. Mm -hmm. He was the Prince of Peace. Yeah. He was a peacemaker. Amen. He was a source of bringing God's peace to man. Yeah. Yeah. When he was born, the angels proclaimed, Glory to God in the highest, yeah. and peace on earth, yeah. good will towards men. Yeah. Luke 2, 4, 14. Jesus came to purchase our peace on the cross. Uh -huh. yeah. He came to destroy the power of sin and reconcile men to God. Yeah. He carried our sins, sickness, and sorrows to the cross. Yeah. Yeah. He endured the mocking, the pain, uh -huh. the scourging that, might, that we might have peace. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yeah. Yet we did esteem as stricken, smitten of God, uh -huh. and afflicted. Yeah. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Yeah. Yeah. He was bruised for our iniquities. Yeah. 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 The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we were healed. Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah 53, yeah. 4, 5. Uh -huh. yeah. Jesus purchased our peace yeah. with his own blood yeah. by taking our punishment upon himself. Yeah. Jesus defeated Satan, yeah. broke the power of sin, yeah. and has established a kingdom whereby peace, peace. will one day be restored uh -huh. to the earth. Through the shedding of his blood, he made peace that reconciles all things to God. Yeah. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Yeah. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him, I say, whether they be things in earth or in heaven. Uh -huh. Colossians 1, 19, 20. Uh -huh. Through faith in Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, man is reconciled, yeah. restored into right relationship with God. Yeah. He is acquitted of all charges against him. Yeah. He has peace knowing that the blood of Jesus has cleansed him from all sin. Yeah. Yeah. And that he is saved from the coming wrath and judgment of God upon the earth. Yeah. Paul told the Romans, therefore being justified by faith, yes. we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Romans 5.1 yeah. right. Being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Romans 5, 9. Amen. This is the gospel of peace. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus was broken down, has broken down the wall of enmity between God and man. Yeah. Uh -huh. That separated us from God. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Not only has Christ reconciled us and given us peace with God. He has made it possible for man to have peace with one another. Amen. Amen. It is his blood that was shed on the cross uh -huh. that destroyed enmity that exists between men. Uh -huh. Restores peace and unites them into one in him. Yes. Let's look at John 14, 27. Yes. Peace I leave with you. you. Yeah. My peace I give you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not as the world giveth, uh -huh. give I unto you. Yeah. 
Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Clothed in this peace of Jesus, Christians are unconquerable. Seeing that our peace was purchased with the precious blood of Jesus, we must not lay it aside. It is a vital part of our spiritual armor that enables us to be strong in battle. Yes. We must, by faith, take this peace he has provided for us and clothe our hearts and minds yes. with it. Yes. Just as the strong boots the Roman soldiers wore, now those boots, they had nails coming through the soles so that they could grip and stand firm and metal like football cleats. Yes. It enabled them to stand firm to their feet, to keep their feet solidly on the ground. Amen. The gospel of peace God has provided for you will strengthen and sustain you during battle. Yes. Before Jesus ascended to heaven, he gathered his disciples together to prepare them for battle. Yes. His disciples together to prepare them for battle, they would soon face. Yes. The disciples were confused and afraid. Yes. Their hearts were filled with sorrow. Yes. Jesus was going away, and they were fearful. Yes. The day is the Ascension Sunday, yes. the day that he ascended. Uh -huh. The uncertain, the and uncertain about their future. Yes. Jesus had told them that they would be put out of the synagogues, uh -huh. and killed. Yes. No doubt, many of them were wondering how and if they would survive. Yes. Yes. Jesus, knowing that their hearts and minds were in turmoil, and that they needed something which would enable them to withstand the power of the enemy, yes. gave them his peace. Yes. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. Yeah. In the world ye shall have tribulation. Uh -huh. But be of good cheer. Good yeah. cheer. I have overcome the world. Yeah. Yeah. John 16, 33. Uh -huh. Now let's look at Acts 21, 13. Mm -hmm. Then Paul answered, what mean ye to weep and to break my heart? Well, For I am ready not to be bound only, uh -huh. but also to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Now, with your mind clothed with Christ's peace, mm -hmm. you will be ready to face every attack of the enemy. Paul's heart and mind was covered with Christ's peace. Yes. He said, I am ready not to be bound only, mm -hmm. but also to die at Jerusalem well. for the name of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. He told Timothy, for I am now ready to be offered at the time of my departure is at hand, 2 yeah. Timothy 4, 6. Paul knew what kind of death he would suffer. He knew he would be beheaded. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he was not afraid. Yeah. He had Christ's peace. Yeah. Which made him invulnerable to Satan's attacks. Yeah. He could look death in the face fearlessly. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing that Jesus had destroyed the works of the devil. Uh -huh. Sin. Sickness. Death. Yeah. And through the blood of Jesus, he was at peace. Amen. Reconciled to God. Yeah. Free of any charges against him. Yeah. He was able to lay his head down on the chopping block yeah. in perfect peace, yeah. knowing that death could not hold him. Yeah. That to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yeah. 2 Timothy 4.8 Many of the early Christians who were tortured, thrown to the lions, burned at the stake, 
died in triumph, yeah. singing and shouting praises to God. Because their minds were closed with the supernatural peace of God. Yeah. Which belonged to them through Christ Jesus. Yeah. As an end time spiritual warrior. Uh -huh. Once your mind is closed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yeah. You will be ready uh -huh. to fearlessly and boldly march into battle. Yeah. Through every obstacle. And every danger yeah. to proclaim the gospel of peace yeah. to the lost and dying world. Well. The gospel of peace that comes through Jesus Christ yeah. is the powerful weapon God has chosen to destroy the works of Satan today. Yeah. And set men free from the power of sin. Yeah. It is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Yeah. Romans 1.16 The gospel of peace, reconciliation with God, is the only thing that can bring peace to man. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. God has reconciled us to him through the gospel uh -huh. and is also using it to reconcile men to one another and all things to himself. The early Christians were unconquerable. Mm -hmm. They fearlessly went from city to city, taking the gospel of peace. Yeah. It's where our team is in the Philippines, yeah. taking the gospel of peace. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. When they were threatened and commanded not to preach or teach in the name of Jesus, Peter and John said, for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Acts 4.20 As in time spiritual warriors we must make ourselves ready yeah. as messengers of the gospel of peace. Yeah. This does not mean that God expects everyone to pack up their belongings and go to the mission field uh -huh. or become an evangelist traveling from city to city preaching the word. Uh -huh. We must be ready, ready. prepared at all times, all times to share the gospel of peace. Yes. Everywhere we go, yeah. we must fearlessly and boldly share the word with our friends, yeah. with our neighbors, yes. with our relatives, yes. with co-workers, yes. and with those we meet. Uh -huh. Let's look at Philippians 4, 6, 7. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, yeah. with thanksgiving, uh -huh. let your requests be made known to God. Yeah. And the peace of God, yes. which passes all understanding, uh -huh. shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Cover your heart yeah. and mind with the gospel of peace. Yeah. To be fully equipped and prepared to win the war, you must have on your boots uh -huh. yeah. with your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yeah. You are not only invulnerable and unconquerable, you are ready yeah. to fearlessly and boldly march forward into battle. Amen. Yeah. Through every obstacle, uh -huh. yeah. face every danger, even death. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Even during the fiercest battle, when you are faced on every hand with adverse circumstances, uh -huh. yeah. when Satan is attacking your body, yeah. your family, yeah. your finances, yeah. when your mind is being attacked by fear, yeah. doubt and unbelief, uh -huh. yeah. you will be strong. Yes. And immovable. Yeah. Your feet will be planted firmly uh -huh. so that you will not be moved. Yeah. If your feet have been shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. There are two functions that the preparation of the gospel of peace fulfills. Uh -huh. 
and strengthening and preparing us for battle. Uh -huh. One, the preparation of the gospel of peace strengthens us to face any trial and endure any hardship. Amen. During battle, it sustains us. Well. Two, the preparation of the gospel of peace prepares and makes us ready at any moment yeah. to proclaim the message of salvation uh -huh. and peace yeah. through the cross. Amen. And Paul compared the preparation of the gospel of peace to the strong boots the soldiers wore protecting their feet. Well. As an end-time spiritual warrior, God has provided you with preparation of the gospel of peace. Uh -huh. It is part of the whole armor of God which he supplies. Yeah. It cannot be manufactured or produced by human effort. Yeah. God has provided it for us. Right. But we must pick it up yeah. and put it on. Well. The boots the Roman soldiers wore covered the feet. Yeah. The preparation of the gospel of peace covers your heart and mind. Yeah. Just as the soldiers picked up their boots and put them on to cover their feet, we must take the preparation of the gospel of peace, which God supplies, yeah. and clothe our heart and minds with it. Yeah. Isaiah said, he said this, Thou will keep him in perfect peace yeah. Yeah. whose mind is stayed on thee Amen. because he trusteth in thee. Uh -huh. Isaiah 26, 3. Paul was not talking about a superficial peace that comes when everything is going smoothly. Uh -huh. He was talking about God's peace. Yeah. A supernatural peace. Yeah. That goes beyond our own limited understanding. Yeah. He was talking about a peace that there is consistently yeah. protecting and guarding our minds, yeah. strengthening us so that we will not fall. Yeah. He was talking about uh -huh. God's peace yeah. that never fails yeah. and never changes. He was talking about a peace that is not clouded by sin yeah. or a guilty conscience yeah. or that is distributed, disturbed by the fear of death. Uh -huh. God never intended for his people to be fearful. Yeah. God never intended for his people to be worried or anxious. It is not his will for you to walk the floors at night yeah. worrying about your children. Uh -huh. He has not planned for your mind to be in turmoil yeah. concerning your finances. Yeah. Worried about how you're going to make the needed repairs uh -huh. on your house or car. Yeah. Worried about how you will happen if you lose your job. Uh -huh. Worried about how you are going to pay your bills. Yeah. He does not want you to become anxious concerning the sickness Amen. or disease that Satan is using to attack you. Yeah. God is not planned for your heart and mind to be closed. He is planned for your heart and mind to be closed with his peace. Yeah. Satan's objective in attacking you through your circumstances to cause you to be fearful. Uh -huh. He wants you to doubt God's promises. Yeah. To worry. Well. Yeah. He wants your mind and heart in consistent turmoil well. so that you will not be able to reach out in faith to God Amen. and receive the answer or miracle you need. Yeah. Yeah. He, his unlimited objective is to use your circumstances yeah. 
to cause you to lose trust in God. Yeah. He wants you to turn your back on God. Yeah. Without God's peace covering your heart and mind, you will be weakened and unprepared yeah. to face Satan's attacks. Right. Your mind, if your mind is in turmoil, make a strong determination to take the peace yeah. God has promised Amen. you to clothe your mind with it. Yeah. Well, I've come to the conclusion uh -huh. of the message of peace. peace. Yeah. Yeah. God's peace. Yeah. Uh -huh. The peace that surpasses all understanding. Yeah. Is there one today that want to receive the promises of God? Is there one that want to receive the peace of God Amen. and all the provisions that God has promised to you? Uh -huh. The doors of the church are open. Yes. Come now. Amen. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior uh -huh. and receive the peace of God yes. and all the promises God has promised to those who believe. Romans 10 9 says that if you if thou confess with thy mouth yeah. the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart yeah. that God hath raised him from the dead, yeah. thou shalt be saved. Yeah. And Romans 10 10 says, For with the heart man believeth into righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Yeah. If you want to receive the peace of God and all the promises that he has provided for us, Romans 10, 9, 10, 10 are for you today. Amen. Confess the Lord Jesus Christ yes. and receive the peace of God. Amen. 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 Thank and praise God this morning for Reverend Dwight Grant Amen. and the peace. Amen. 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 We thank God for the peace that we have in this salvation in our God in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for that peace. Yeah. We pray that you will pray that our bishop, Bishop Carol A. Baltimore Sr. and Reverend Rachel Baltimore, assistant pastor, and the mission team on the mission field, yeah. that God will continue to keep them in perfect peace yeah. so that they may teach and preach yeah. and help others to know about this peace that we have. Yeah. Yeah. We praise God for them. We praise God for you. Yeah. And we thank you for support of this ministry and yeah support of the people on the mission field. Yeah. For they are the ones that we go to bless. Yeah. We ask that you can go to carolabaltimoreministries.org and you feel in your heart that you want to give towards helping those on the mission field. Yeah. Yeah. You can give and support. Not all of us can go, but we all can give and help yeah. in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we praise God for you. We'll see you on next Sunday. In Jesus' name.